Hi, I'm Louis DeBay, and I love to talk about movies 24-7. I've been fascinated with films as long as I can remember, and I upload weekly. Today I'm going to be talking about Creed 3, which is about Adonis Creed uh, reconnecting with an old friend, and they soon become rivals. Um, it was also directed by Michael B. Jordan. Um, it stars Michael B. Jordan, um, Jonathan Majors, and Tessa Thompson, among many other great actors. All right, I'm going to start talking about the positives. Uh, first off, I really like the intro of this movie. I think it sets up things very well, um, and um, th that pays off um, later. Um, I really like the writing. It has a lot of strong emotional moments, um, a lot of good emotional punches. This series um, is known for that, um, and it's one of my favorite part of this franchise. I thought it had a r really good emotional moments. I thought the directing uh, was really solid by Michael B. Jordan. I believe this is his first film. I thought he did an excellent job. I really respect his creative choices um, with the end of the movie. Um, he's he's really good. I would like to see more from him. Um, the acting was top notch. Um, all the performances were perfect. Very uh, emotional and intense. Um, Jonathan Majors is such a good villain. He was great in Ant Man um, and the Wasp: Quantumania. He's great here. Great antagonist, you understand where he's coming from, um, but he also is um, very um, villainous at times, and you're, you um, you get really mad because you feel bad for Adonis. Um, again, um, I, I gotta say again, I just love the emotional moments. There's so many great emotional punches that almost brought tears to my eyes. Just like s such good writing with the emotion. I really uh, love how it was acted and how it was. Um, executed um this movie is a uh, very intense at the end um i was uh, this is um one of my favorite uh you know entries in a franchise so far um i was really on the edge of my seat um at the end i thought it was very um intense and it had great tension um i think this movie flows pretty well um, it, um, I'm not sure how long it is, uh, maybe it was a little long, but I thought it flowed really well, I was never bored. Um, it does take things, take a while to get things going, um, but I think everything's important, I think everything needed to be there, I don't think I would have cut anything. Um, just to let people know I'm going in, it's just, um, you know, it takes a little bit to get going. Um, you know, this is a character piece, and, you know, there's probably not as much boxing as the other movies, this is... Uh, has all to do with the character development, which I appreciate it. I'm not everyone will, but um, I love the character development in this movie um, and what it leads to at the end. Um, yeah, I was never bored. This is a really solid movie. I did enjoy it, and I really like the story they chose this time around. Um, man, I, this movie surprised me. Like when I um, saw it, I was like, you know, no, it looks good. It's like another Creed movie, nothing special. Um, but when I got out of the theater, I was like, wow, that was amazing. Um, you know, like I said, a um, couple scenes like got me pretty close to crying there, which I wasn't expecting going in. Uh, I um, was very impressed by this movie. Michael B. Jordan, uh, Jonathan Major, Tess Thompson did an amazing job. Um, I'm excited to, if, if they do make a, a fourth one, which I think they will, I'm, I'm excited to check it out, but I think we should end it at that. Like, ten movies total, six Rocky movies, four Creed movies, that's good. They're talking about spinoffs and stuff. I don't think we need to do all that. <laughs> we don't need to go fast and furious with this one. Um, but maybe one more Creed movie. I don't know where they'd go, because this is, the, is honestly the perfect ending, in my opinion. I'd be okay with them ending it here. But I don't think they are, so let's just say one more, and just, um, we'll call it there, hopefully. But I don't think that's going to happen, because they want to do spinoffs and stuff. Um, and one more thing before, um, I wrap up the review, um, in the middle of the movie, I was a little distracted, um, because people started arguing in the middle of the movie theater, um, because I guess someone was talking, I didn't really hear because it was IMAX, so the sound was pretty loud, but I guess someone in the back of the theater was talking the entire movie, and someone got mad, and then they started yelling at each other, so that distracted throughout, uh, for a couple minutes, so that wasn't too fun. But besides that, great movie. I highly recommend it. I would say it's probably my favorite year uh, movie of the year so far. Um, I'd give it an A.
Definitely check it out if you get the chance, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day and take care. Bye.